Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and this is Sally from sallychow.com. Welcome to another episode of the Dotcom Lifestyle Vlog. Today, we're cooking steak. You may recall in the previous video, we cooked some, some A5 Wagyu. Well, we have here some uh, American style Kobe steak from Snake River, Snake River Farm. No work comparable to A5 Wagyu, but we're gonna cook this in a way that might taste just as good. We're gonna use a sous vide cooker. So this can be cool. We're gonna cook it sous vide style instead of the normal stick and pan. We're gonna cook this in water. And the cool thing about sous vide cooking is that you can't overcook it. You can't overcook it. So before we begin, we are going to prepare these steaks. So let, let's prepare the steaks, Sally. We're just gonna. Sally's right, so gonna help me prepare the steak. We're gonna. I need to wash my hand. You're gonna wash your hand. And you're gonna, basically, we're gonna season up the steak with salt and pepper. And then we're gonna put it in these vacuum seal bag and we're gonna put it in the sous vide machine. It's gonna be so cool. So cool. Let's do this. Why are you gonna slap the steak for a time? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> are you recording you slapping steak? That's not how you tenderize steak, Sally. Okay. All right, let's begin. So. Hey, my hands smell gross. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is we got some sea salt. We're gonna take some of our sea salt and we're gonna apply it across the steak here. Right. Generously. Don't put a lot of pepper, ew. Don't be afraid to coat the whole steak. No, gross. This. Okay. okay. Now, Flip it around, do the other side, do both sides. So, salt. Okay, let me soak up some of this other pepper here, like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, gonna add for extra flavor, we are gonna add a uh, rosemary here. So I think I'm gonna add one rosemary leaf each. Okay, like that. And then we are gonna put it into, into the bag. So let's do that. Almost forgot, we're gonna add some garlics too, but I'm gonna cut these into slivers and then, yeah, and then we're gonna add them. We're gonna add some garlic cloves. There you go. And then we're gonna put that in the bag. That's gonna be good, let's do that. And then gonna close it and then suck the air out of it. And to suck the air out, we have this little thing here. I think how it works is you put it on like that and then you just go. Here you go, it's sucking the air out. Cool. Yeah. Now we just need to fill up the container with water. You don't have to use filter water, tap water is fine because this water is just gonna cook it. Okay, Sally's got a fill of water, we're ready to go. Now, we have several choices of uh, cooking. We can use the app and the app will tell us how you want our steak. It's if you want a medium rare, 129 degrees. If you, uh, so you can look at it, that's medium, a medium well, what do you think Sally, medium rare? 129 degrees. So let's just set this for 100 and, let's we'll set it for 130 degrees, yeah. Let's we'll set it for 130, I think, I think that's not, yeah, 130 degrees sounds fine. We'll start that. Now it will start and basically it will bring the water temperature up to 130 degrees. Once the water temperature is ready, we we're gonna add our steak. And then in, uh, I would say now and a half to two hours, we're gonna have perfect medium rare steak. So. See you guys in a bit. Right now it's at 98.3 degrees, so we're slowly working our way up to 130. So while we're waiting, maybe I'll tell you a bit about this uh, sous vide machine. This is the A Nova, A Nova sous vide or precision cooker, and it's available, well, I guess, at any store, Amazon, less than $100. And what it does is it's pretty straightforward. It's uh, easy to adjust. You adjust the temperature here, but with this little dial, once you've got it set, I guess at the 130, just hit start. 
and it will raise the temperature to 130 and it will keep that temperature. And this little bucket I got here, I guess you can use a, any, you can use a pot, but I bought this uh, sous vide bucket. Uh, it holds like, I believe eight liters, yeah, eight liters, uh, I guess uh, 10 liters, 10 liters of water. So it will heat up the water. So what it does, it heats up the water and it circulates the water. Let me open it up so you can see it. So as you can see, it circulates the water, makes it circulate and it will circulate it. And while your meat's inside, it will cook the meat and bring it up to temperature of exactly 130 degrees for a perfect medium rare steak. Okay, we got what, 130 degrees? Let's put the steaks in. Here we go. This is so good. All right, so we'll put in one on this side. That's right, throw the other one in there. Throw the other one in there. There you go. Here, just uh, clip it right there. Yeah, this will work. You're not this. supposed to expose plastic to high temperatures because it can seep into your food and you will die. <laughs> so you say, we're good. Okay. There you go. And I noticed the temperature drop a little bit. It was 129.7. It will then go back up. And we can see the steaks are in there. It is. It's going to be circling and cooking. So we'll see you guys in two hours. Okay. It's been two hours. Let's, let's take it out, Sally. Let's take it out. All right, excellent. Let's take it out. There you go. I got, ooh, okay, drain the water a little bit. That's pretty cool. I just put it down. There's one. And there's the other one. Good, good stuff. There we go, two steak. Let's take it out. There's one. The rosemary. We move the garlic, and now we're gonna pat the steak dry. We're gonna pat the steak dry, and then we're gonna put a shear on it, and then it'll be ready to go. Now, right now, these steaks are fully cooked. They don't look that that great right now because, well, you know, but once we put the, uh, the shear on it, it's gonna look awesome, so. The key is you need to get this thing really, really hot. You just wanna put a shear on the steak, Basically 30 seconds per side, and it should be ready. It's not that hot. Cool. Yeah, it's on the mount. Good. Yep. Put the butter, then we're going to put it on and shear this thing up. Oh, yeah. Now it's steaming. That's what we want. We want it pretty much hot and steaming. Let's put it down. Okay. One minute per side, and it'll be good. I'm going to add back in. The rosemary, I'm gonna put back in the garlic. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that shear. Looks beautiful. They look like long. It looks beautiful, Sally. Okay, this one is ready. Here's one, and here's the other one. We're done. Hey, I can't wait. I'm gonna try a piece. Wow, that is so moist and tender. Love it. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed a little steak cooking. It's my first time cooking sous vide. Uh, I think it was a little, I mean, I mean, it was more like medium. I like medium rare, but I like medium, so it, it came out good. Next time I can cook exactly medium rare. Uh, this little device, pretty damn cool. Anyway, all the equipment I use to create this sous vide steak is below this video, so if you want to do your own, uh, you can get it. Like I said, it's less than $100. And uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking of steaks in the near future. So, okay. JohnChapelJohnChapel.com. 
Sally Sal from SallySal.com. Please like and share our video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time.